Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is host-based intrusion detection. Now, we've talked about intrusion detection in systems before in a separate module, but I want to kind of cover it again here in the context of host-based versus server-based. So, host-based intrusion detection systems, or HIDS, has advantages over server-based in a couple of areas. So, host-based intrusion detection systems can detect commands executed at the host or attacks via dial-up. Okay, so think about that for a moment. If we're using a server-based intrusion detection system, then obviously it's going to be monitoring rather from something connected to the, to the network, right, via a server. The server is not directly attached to the host, it's connected to that host through the network. So if that host has a dial-up connection, which <laughs> arguably is pretty antiquated, but there are still systems out there that have dial-up connections for one reason or another, those hosts, if an attack comes in through that vector, that attack vector, a server-based intrusion detection system more than likely will not be able to identify that. So host-based intrusion detection systems can detect things that server-based ones cannot. They also offer better scalability and speed of execution because it doesn't have to travel through the network and connect to the server to have a response or have something acted upon. It actually operates and executes at the host itself. It can also scan log files and audit trails for, for basically for signs of activity. So we can have multiple hosts. It can be basically, if you think about it, kind of a distributed system. So instead of having one server trying to parse through all the logs of all the different hosts throughout the network, sending potentially you know thousands of logs per day, we can have a distributed system where now all the individual hosts are scanning their logs. So the speed of execution is going to be faster as well. Now, as you may guess, keep in mind, it's only as good as the audit trails or the, the logging that's uh, done on the host, of course. So if we have no logging turned on and nothing for it to scan, then obviously it's not going to do us much good. So it kind of goes part and parcel. We have to make sure that we have auditing turned on, logging turned on, you know, to the degree that we want to actually monitor. And then the host-based intrusion detection systems can benefit, of course, from that local localized speed. Okay, so here's an example of a host-based intrusion detection system. And as you'll notice, we have the host IDS on several PCs here. Of course, our router and the internet, and of course, you know, it's just kind of showing an, an internal network. There is an IDS server that the hosts can report into, but the actual scanning and the alerting itself is done on the host, not on the server. The server is more of a management console, and it, and it can also be an aggregation point, but the actual host IDS is where the, uh, the monitoring and the actions and alerting is taking place.